first. Hi everybody, it's Rob Darrow, coordinator of History Day for Alameda County. Hopefully you can see those slides in front of you. I'm gonna change them just a little bit so that you can see them a little better. There we go. So that's that part. So I'm gonna spend time uh, just going through the process that I emailed to you. So I'm clicking on the email that I sent. So you should all now see the email that I sent to you. You all see my writing there? I'm just checking with those of you who are on here. Do you, do you see the note that's there? Yeah, I can see it. Just, great, okay, I just need to make sure that it's there. For those of you just joining, I'm recording this first part, just going through these steps. And then if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So everybody got this email, or you should have been sent the email from your teacher. So I'm only gonna cover on this webinar what to do first and what to do second. And then if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer those at the end. And as I mentioned, I am recording this first part so that I can send the recording out to other people. So here's what I thought most people would do is they got the, this information that they would click on the visual guide first. So I wanna go over to the visual guide and that's what I'm gonna work off of. Um, so you can see in the visual guide, Step one says make sure you are logged into your Google Drive account. Um, for most of us, our Google Drive account at home works better than our Google Drive account at school. And if you don't have your own Google Drive at account at home, then you can ask your parents to help you to do this part. So that's the first part. So I am logged into my Google Drive account. Um, in fact, I'm gonna move this down here just a little bit. Um, and then it says, click here to make a copy of the document. So when you click on this document, you should get this screen right here that says make a copy. So you click on make a copy. And so I'm doing that now and then it brings you to this document right here. Now I'm going to go back to my visual guide just to show you what the next step is. So. You can see step three, you'll see this message, make a copy. So I just did that. And then it says, after you make a copy, rename the document in the upper left hand corner like this. And you can see the arrow that's right there. So I'm gonna go back to the copy of the document and show you where it's showing. Here's at the very top is my title. And I'm gonna name this with my last name. And I'm gonna pretend like I'm a, Individual exhibit, that's what I'm gonna to be today. Oh, and I wanna make sure I put junior or senior because that helps too. So I'm gonna put junior individual exhibit. So I've now renamed my document. And then the next step here, I'm going back to my visual guide. So I've now renamed, I've done step four now. So now I'm just gonna scroll down and see what the next step is. So step four, five is Adjust the sharing properties. Now this is really important because if you don't share the documents, nobody can see it. So here's what it says to do. I will go to the document now and do that so you can see how to do it. So I'm gonna click over there back on my document and on the upper right hand side, it says share. When I click on share, you get this blank screen which says it's not shared with anybody but yourself and you need to click on advanced. When you click on advanced, you get this larger screen and then you wanna change this right here and you wanna change it to public on the web because then people can see it. And then down here under access, we wanna be able to view it. Now, if you want anybody to write on this, you could change it to view and edit, but for now, just doing view is fine. I'm gonna go back here, view, and then you click on save and then the screen comes up and now it says public on the web, web, anybody on the internet can view and then I click on done. So let me go back to my visual guide and see how I did. So I created my access, I changed it to on, I put the link sharing on, I put can view, I saved it. And then the sharing settings, that's my website or URL. So. There's two ways you can get this. And oh, the other thing is once you've got your own document here, you can get rid of this yellow stuff because you don't need that information anymore. So I'm gonna delete that. So there are two ways to get the URL to your document. Either one, 
you can go at the top and highlight there. That's the URL that you need right there. Or you can click on the share document and the documents right there and you can click on copy link and then that gives you the copy you need. So I'm gonna copy the link and save that for the next part. All right, so that's the first part. I'm gonna pause for a minute here and, and pause my recording. So, so the second step, I'm going back to the letter, the note that I sent you. So we just created our document. We've got our Google document. I've got it showing up here. I'm gonna click back on it so everybody sees it. Here's the URL that I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna keep that right there but I'm gonna click back on my other document. And notice I've got several tabs open on my browser. That helps a lot. So I'm gonna click on back to my student note and do this second, complete this check-in form. So then you click on the check-in form and this is what comes up. So then you're gonna check one of these boxes, the history day check-in, whichever box you wanna check. You can leave all those. And then right here, it says link URL to your process paper annotated bib. That's what you need right now. So I'm going back to my document, which is here. I'm highlighting that URL. Now I can do edit copy. I can do control C. I can do right mouse click copy. Whatever you like to use to copy, I'm going to do a right mouse click copy and go back to the document. And then I'm going to do a right mouse click and paste. And there's my URL. So then I just hit enter and then put my name down here and the rest of the information and it's all saved. You're gonna fill the rest of this in and then at the bottom, you're gonna click submit. I'm not gonna fill this out because I don't need to fill it out. I want you to all fill it out. And so that's basically what you need to do to finish step one and step two of this process. So I'm gonna stop the recording now because that was the main part I wanted to show people. And as long as you follow the visual guide, that should work. And now I've got a recording to share with you as well.